Welcome back, ladies and germs, to another episode of Manga Transdub Theater, where we take public domain Japanese comics, English-size them, and then put on a show. No, we just we just make funny noises. <laughs> I'm your host, translator, sound engineer, director, and overzealous groundling, Nicholas Tyson. Today, we have another exciting installment of Kabashiman Oda's Shochan Adventures. In our previous episode, Squirrel and Sho took a little trip to Siberia. They met some pixies and clashed with the granddaddy of all kaiju rivalries, Mammoth and Ceratosaurus. Uh, you can check out that episode on this channel, but for today we have... Sho-chan no shibai. Sho-chan at the theater! Or if you prefer... Show on stage! <laughs> Show on ice! <laughs> Whatever! Anyway, he's, a, he's in a play, I guess. So, let's do this thing. They were already well into summer, and Show had taken it upon himself to be in a play with Squirrel. Hey, Squirrel! You want to be in a play? Let's do it! Sounds like fun! And once the ad started appearing in the Asahi News, the play turned into an immediate sensation. Says here, Shochan's gonna make an appearance on stage! <laughs> oh, that's quite the achievement. And on the day of the performance, the lobby of the Asahiza was packed to the gills with theater goers. Everyone, please form a single line! Hey, you pushing me! No! Someone's pushing me! <laughs> oh, Jesus. The production value's already. No, someone's pushing me! By the time the lights flickered over the audience, it was a full house, not a seat to be found. How did this place get so packed? I guess they're all here to see show. <laughs> and as the clappers rang out, the curtain smoothly slid to one side. So the clappers here are actually um, hyoshigi, which I have a pair of right here. I'm going to see if this works. All right, okay, I got to hit it better. And then also you see, patch, 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 patch. So they're clapping, patch, 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 patch. In a huntsman's house, somewhere deep in the mountains, a child was tending to his father. How are you feeling now, father? Oh, you are such a dutiful son. It makes me so happy. They were living in such extreme poverty that they couldn't even afford to buy medicine. I know he needs it, but we don't have any money to buy medicine. The child picked up his father's gun in hopes that he might shoot some game to trade for medicine. I'm going out, father. You wait here. Oh, this is such an imposition on you. Don't get yourself into any trouble. The young man was disappearing into the forest when Sho began his entrance along the Hanamich. Okay, so uh, this takes place in a kabuki theater. There are, there are a couple of clues as to this fact. The, the first being that uh, it's called the Asahi Za, so that Za ending t typically denotes a kabuki theater. Also, um, the Hanamichi is a sort of like raised platform that runs stage right of the audience, so that would be house left of the audience, and he's sort of come in from the back of the house. Anyway. Ta-da! Oh, man. I'm so nervous. <gasps> it's show! It's Squirrel 2! The moment they took the stage, people kept calling out, Shochan! Shochan! And they were completely smitten with Squirrel as well. And so this is another indicator of it being a Kabuki-like performance, the sort of calling out the, the actor's name as they appear on stage. Looks like there's a house over there, Squirrel. <laughs> Looks like it's in rough shape. Eventually, Sho knocked on the shack door and asked to be let in. Hello? Anyone at home? Hello? We're coming in. It seemed like his boy had returned, so the old man lifted up his countenance to speak with him. <laughs> well, you sure are in a sorry state. My boy has been taking care of me, well, off and on. The young man, who'd shot one of the king's prized cranes, was being chased by soldiers. I can't believe what I did. That crane belonged to the king. Yeah, <laughs> you really are in a pickle. 
Shell listened to what the boy had to say and immediately started trading his suit for the boy's kimono. If they catch you, your father's done for. Squirrel, you're going to have to hide. What, what am I supposed to do? A squad of troops surrounded the house and found Sho within. This is where he ran to. He must have been here. One soldier pulled out a rope and was going to use it to take the child back to the castle. I won't run. There's no need to tie me up. And once his trial was concluded, Sho was taken to prison. So, man, these <laughs> what is up with these captions? They all like take place before it happens in the Anyway. Are you the one who shot the crane? It'll be the firing squad for you. Y yes, sir. I did it. Sho gazed out the window and thought about how he would be executed the following morning. At least I can take some comfort in knowing that boy won't have to die. Moonlight flooded into the cell, and Sho, almost without thinking, began to sing. I'll make me a home in the blue sky. Do, 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 do. For the heart in my chest is so heavy, and nothing remains for me here. I'm not going to apologize. <laughs> Someone beyond the walls could, could hear Sho singing through the bars. What a beautiful voice. Outside the prison, a princess was standing in her rose garden, bathed in moonlight. Who could sing such a song from inside a jail? And that's when Squirrel appeared from out of the flowers and sidled up beside the princess. E excuse me, princess. Oh, and who might you be? She was surprised to hear how Sho had taken the fall for the young boy and wound up in prison. Oh, so this here is the brave boy? Night was already starting to turn to day, so the princess hurried off to beg her father for Sho's life. I'll see what my father can do. Yes, please, I'm begging you. The princess informed the king of everything that had happened up to that point. Oh no! A terrible mistake has been made! We must not kill such a brave young man! The king called one of his subjects over and sent him off with orders to halt the execution. You must give them this order at once! Yes, sir! The messenger put the orders in his breast pocket and mounted his horse. Come on, Shadow! Gallop with all your might! Meanwhile, things were proceeding apace at the execution grounds. Sho had been blindfolded and was standing before a brick wall. I wish I could see Squirrel one last time. The soldiers loaded their weapons and waited for their commanding officer to give the order. He called out, One, two... The soldiers raised their weapons and took aim at Little Show. Ready? The shots all rang out at once, and the execution grounds grew thick with smoke. Fire! <laughs> As the smoke cleared, a pair of figures lay bundled together on the ground, struck down by the bullets. One was Sho, and the other was the huntsman's child. That's when the messenger arrived, completely out of breath, but he was too late to change anything. Stop! I have orders here from the king! What? It's already been done! Squirrel clung to Sho's body as he wept. Ow, oh, Sho! You are my only friend! Oops. <laughs> ah, yes, the production values. Oh, Sho, you were my only friend. When they saw what happened to Sho, the audience rose as one and gathered themselves into a mob. What, what, what the hell? They shot sho -chan. This is unacceptable. It can't end like this. And as he spoke, the man rushed the stage and punched the soldier who shot Sho, sending him flying. You bastard! How could you shoot him? 
The soldier cried out in pain. Another man leapt up on stage from the orchestra. Hey, that really hurt! Whoa, 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 now, just wait a minute there. You some bitches really got some nerve! Sho sprang up from the ground and told the audience member it was just a play. Settle down, mister. What you saw up here is just an act. Oh, oh I, I, I get it now. It's all just a play. <laughs> oh, my. And scene. Yes, that's where it ends. That's all for this week's episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you really liked this video... You can support my work on Patreon. The URL for that is www.patreon.com forward slash it came from the manga. <laughs> okay, I'm, that's, I should put those away. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links for which can be found in the description below. I'll be back next week with another episode of Manga Transdub Theater, but until then, do not let the man get you down. Bye. <laughs>